behind me are all the freaking leggings I own. I have an obsession with leggings and activewear. For anyone that knows me, I literally just wear leggings and tanks. You can rarely find me in a pair of jeans. Next to me and behind me is every single pair of leggings I own. I'm gonna go through all of them, try them on for you guys. I'm gonna give you guys my brutally honest opinions and reviews on over 30 pairs of leggings. I'm gonna be grouping them into different categories. This is how I categorize the material of them. I'm not a professional in fabrics, but this is how I would categorize them. So for the first category is like the naked sensation leggings. These are the ones that feel like you have nothing on. They're super thin, weightless. They don't suck you in or anything. They're just really weightless and comfortable. The second one is the athletic one. These leggings typically have like a sheen to it. They're more sweat wicking. They could be more compressive and like pet hair and lint doesn't really stick to them, you know, those kind of materials. The third category is my typical normal legging. These are just the soft, good, everyday legging. They're not really sweat wicking. They're just your normal everyday legging. And then the fourth category is other. These ones, I just have some fleece leggings. I don't know the exact names of all these leggings. Some of them were gifted to me. I'm going to be trying to do these in rainbow order too, just to make it a little bit more fun. Starting off with my little camel pair of leggings. These ones I actually have not worn out because I'm scared it's going to look like I'm naked when I'm wearing these. These are Halara branded. They have a crisscross waistband, pocket on the side, and these fall under the naked sensation category leggings. They feel naked. I feel like they make me look like I'm naked, which is why I haven't worn them in public. They have no front seam, which I am obsessed with. And to be honest, I don't know if Halar actually even sells these, but they were sent to me as PR. They were testing some new fabric. So that is this one. Just to make it easy, the next one is the exact same pair in this dark brown color. I wear these ones so much just because I'm obsessed with brown leggings. I feel like they're so flattering and they're just like a little bit elevated more than your typical black legging, you know? Um, these are definitely one of my faves, have been worn so much. Next are a pair of Gymshark leggings. I have these in like three colors, so I'm just gonna show all of them at once. I don't know the exact name of these, but these have some moral print on it, some contouring, shadowing, a little curvature around the butt to give you some little lifted butt contour look. These are from Gymshark. They have like a super, super tight compressive waistband as well as ankles, so these will not be sliding. They have no front seam, which I love, and these are my like perfect leg day and gym workout leggings. So I have it in brown. I have it in this berry fuchsia color. I have it in black. And then I have a very similar version, but slightly different. I think I just bought this like the year before, but in gray. I personally love these leggings. Sometimes they're a little bit too tight and too compressive. So the pairs that I've worn in more, specifically these gray ones, are my favorite. I would say my only critique with this is the label by the ankle. It's a little itchy. You can definitely cut it off, but it's just a weird placement for the label. And since they are so compressive, like you can see the label print after I take them off. But you know, honestly, not much of a complaint. My last brown legging is one from CRZ Yoga. You can find them on Amazon. They look like this. They have a front seam and pockets your typical good old brown comfy legging. I do really love these, but I do prefer leggings without a front seam to it. I have a matching padded tank in this exact same color, so I kind of love this for a cute little matching set moment. Next, moving on to my berryish leggings, I have this one here. It's more of like a a pinkier berry color. It's slightly reddish. This one is from Lululemon. It has a front seam, no pockets. This one is very athletic-y, kind of sweat wicking material. Great right for running. I love these leggings a lot. I love the material of this legging a lot. All around, great legging. Next one is a fuchsia one from Halara. This is a berry color. It's slightly more purpley actually. It has no front seam, it has pockets, and it has that popular crisscross waistband as well. Um, I really like this one. This is more of that cottony everyday legging kind of material. I love these leggings but I actually do have some that I love a little bit more so yeah these are a great one moving on I have another pink pair this is from the brand 90 degrees by reflex you can find them on Amazon or Nordstrom Rack they're a sweat wicking material it's a nice pink color the one thing I don't like about these is that okay it has a front seam and then you also kind of feel this little elastic at the top I don't know if you can even see it but you can definitely feel the elastic band. There are no pockets. I use this legging as like my beater legging. Like if I'm traveling, going on like road trips, and kind of like don't care if these get dirty. These aren't my favorite. I'm honestly debating about decluttering them. I think the elastic waistband kind of stretched over time, so they don't fit as well anymore, and they're definitely a little bit loose now. It's a good beater legging, you know? Can't tell my favorite color is pink, so this is my last pink legging. These are from Lululemon. This is another naked sensation pair of leggings. These are one of the softest buttery soft leggings ever. 
Um, but this is also another color that isn't the most flattering on my skin tone for some reason. I feel like it looks like nothing like my skin, but when I'm wearing it, the color doesn't do much for me, if that makes sense. I feel like it emphasizes any parts that I'm insecure about. It kind of makes me look larger, doesn't suck me in, and you know, it doesn't contour my legs or anything. It really does not do much. It's just a good old pink legging. Pretty standard, but it is a very cute color. Very great for lounging around. Super duper buttery soft. Next is a sage green legging. This is the ultimate stash legging from Athleta. It has pockets and it's meant for running. It has a lot of like cool seams and contour lines, which is slightly like cool and helps sculpt your leg but I think it's slightly too seamy if that makes sense like there's a little bit too many seams like you don't need two seams for your butt but this color is so cute you do feel that elastic waistband at the top which I don't love but I did get this for like five dollars don't ask me how employee discount things when I worked there. I also have a matching sage green sports bra with this, so it's just so cute for the set. Next is an olive green pair. This is from Halara. Again, Halara is pretty known for their crisscross waistband. There's no front seam. There is a pocket, which is awesome. And these are actually fleece lined. So I like it because it doesn't look like a fleece lined legging. It's your standard legging, but it has like that athletic wicking material on the outside, but it has fleece inside. And it's not like the thickest layer of fleece, it's very thin. It's great to keep you warm, great on winter cold walks to school when I was in university. Um, and just a really awesome color for fall and winter. Okay, next I have like the darkest forest green legging. It almost looks black on camera, but these are definitely dark, dark, dark green. These are the Salutation stash leggings from Athleta. These are actually a size down from what I normally wear. I typically wear a size small in every single legging, except for this is an extra small. So it's slightly small on me and slightly tighter than I would prefer. These are more like standing leggings, you know? They look great when I'm standing. They suck me in, they compress and everything. Thing, but kind of sitting the waistband digs into my stomach just a little bit because it is a little bit small I like that there is no elastic at the top there are pockets and there is a front seam which you know I don't love but don't mind too much next are some dark jade green leggings from girlfriend collective these are such a beautiful color I have like an off-the-shoulder matching top for this so this is another part of a two-piece set it has pockets it has a front seam sadly um, this is almost more of a sweat wicking material to be honest, these leggings are pretty compressive, but they don't do much for me again. They don't really look that great on me, and honestly, they're not that comfortable for- I don't know why. Um, these are sustainably made, which is why I love Girlfriend. I was actually gifted these, but I don't know. They're just not comfortable, so I would never really reach for them, but whenever I try to pull out the matching set, at least I have the matching leggings, so super cute color and everything, but honestly might be one of my least favorite leggings in my collection. Next, I have another one from Halara. I've done like two video collaborations with them, hence why I have so many leggings from them, but this is honestly one of my favorite pair of leggings from them ever. I think it's called like the Padded Off Collection, so if you get dog hair on this, you just brush it off and it doesn't stick. It has no front seam, which I love because no camel toe, um, hourglass, waistband pockets on the side full length and it's in this like nice light blue teal color it's so fun to mix and match you can wear this with a light color top a black top honestly one of my favorite pair of leggings ever this is honestly one of my favorite pair of leggings in my collection it's such a good one it's comfortable it lasts me through my 10 hour school days and yeah I would definitely wear these every day if I could the crisscross is also super flattering okay moving on to blues this is my Athleta transcend legging so the trans Send collection was slightly newer that released last summer. It's a buttery naked feeling legging so like no compression, no pockets. There is a front seam but there's no other seams which I like so it's literally just the seam on the inside. Everything else is seamless which is so nice, so comfortable. This bright teal color which is fun. I also have the matching bra to this so it's another matching set and I love wearing them together or separate. Next are another pair of Gymshark leggings. So these are like the training leggings. It doesn't have as much of an athletic-y wicking feeling as I thought they would. I think they definitely used to, but it's a little worn out over time. I have this in navy and as well as purple color, which I'll show next. You have the Gymshark logo on the hip and one on the back. It has that cool V seam in the butt. 
no front seam perfect for leg days such a good comfy cozy legging these are also like great travel leggings for me here they are in that purple color i love this color it's like purple but it's like darker so it's slightly subtle it's not like super bold in your face but it's definitely purple super cute same material as the blue one i love these leggings so much i don't wear this just for the gym but i kind of wear this out and about as well my next pair of leggings is another one from halara this time this one doesn't have that crisscross front hourglass waist um, which I honestly don't mind at all. I still think it's really cute. I love this navy color. I like that there's no front seam. It has pockets. has that V-shaped in the butt. Um, it's a good old navy legging. For some reason, I never reach towards this. Like, I just never wear it. I think I've worn it once. Which, I, I don't know why. I think it's a beautiful dark cobalt blue color. I'm just not sure why I don't reach for this. Maybe I will add it to the top of my stack so that I can start reaching towards it more often. Okay, here is another navy-ish blue one. It's slightly lighter than the navy one that I just showed you. This one is fleece lined from CRZ Yoga. I love my fleece lined leggings because in the winter I did have to walk 15-20 minutes to school every day and it got really cold in Seattle. So it has pockets here. There is a front seam which I didn't mind too much but less front seam is better these ones are thicker than the olive green fleece lines one i had so these are for the extra extra cold days these are super thick next are a pair of bluish purplish leggings from fit yond i was gifted these for like an instagram collab but these have no front seam no pockets and to be honest i didn't think i would reach for these as much as i do um just because of this color is a little bit more bold a little bit like purpley blue more interesting you know and it doesn't have pockets but i think these are really comfortable i think these are also great beater like road trip camping leggings just because they're not like one of my super super nice one so I don't care if it gets dirty but they're still really comfortable so moving on to the purples next I have this purple one from Halara again you can tell by the crisscross waistband no front seam and the pockets this is pretty much the same as all the other ones this has the athletic -y sweat wicking material to it this is honestly the same as that light blue one that I absolutely love but for some reason I don't reach towards this I feel like this is such a more wearable color especially on my skin tone but I don't know why I just reach towards the light blue one more so maybe I need to start wearing these more. Going down to my last purple legging. These ones look absolutely tiny. I know, trust me. I bought these in middle school or high school and that's when I was a lot skinnier. Personally, I still fit into these. They're super stretchy, but because they are so tight, they're super compressive and I feel like they're a little thin on me just because of how far they're stretched out, but they still fit. These are my favorite for running because it's super sweat wicking. There's no pockets, no nothing, just very good old standard, super dark purple legging. Since they are slightly smaller on me, they compress and hold everything in and don't fall when I'm running. So these are great. I love these. I probably shouldn't keep these just because of how small they are on me, but you know, it's Lulu. So we have them. I'm down to my last eight leggings. These are all my black and gray ones. So starting off with the gray one, this is from 90 Degree by Reflex. It's this light gray color. This is honestly not flattering on me whatsoever. It has a front seam, has no pockets. It also has that elastic waistband at the top that I don't really like in leggings. This color doesn't really do much for me. It's not flattering on me. I honestly think I'm gonna get rid of this after this video, but I'm just like leaving it in my closet in case I need a gray legging one day. But yeah, don't love these ones. Okay, my next and last pair of gray leggings. These are a very dark gray on the other hand. These are from Lululemon. I don't even think they make these anymore because I bought them so long ago, but this is hands down one of my favorite pair of leggings ever and honestly I try not to wear them so much because they are my favorite because I don't want them to start pilling and like wearing down but it's very standard in the front it does have a front seam which I don't love but you know it's like Lulu so it's whatever um, the back is super cute but I love it because it's so unique with the lines on the front so I don't know if you can see this, you'll definitely see more in the try-on, but there's a seam that kind of curves around the leg and I think it makes me look taller. I have no idea what it is, but ever since I got these leggings, I was obsessed with them. They are super comfortable and they are a unique blend of that typical everyday legging, but with slightly athletic touch to it. Like, I wouldn't say this is sweat wicking, like you can see it, it's not shiny, it doesn't have that sound, but it like feels athletic-y if that makes sense. So 
super comfortable. Probably my hands down number one favorite legging in my collection. Next are my Airy leggings. So these are the famous Airy crisscross leggings. This has a pocket on the side. It does have a front seam, which makes the Halara ones slightly more my favorite, but these are even more buttery soft than the Halara ones. And I love these extra because my boyfriend bought them for me, but look how cute. They're not very compressive. They're definitely your naked sensation, comfy lounge leggings. I'm also scared to wear these too much because I'm scared they're gonna pill but otherwise they are so, so comfortable, super flattering on the waist with the crisscross. They have pockets, which is nice. Um, super buttery, smooth, and naked feeling. Okay, we've got another legging from 90 Degree by Reflex. I feel like it looks exactly like the gray one, but this one I don't mind as much just because I think it's black. The gray was just really not flattering on me. Uh, I don't care for these leggings either, but this is another beater one if I'm like doing something in the yard or like doing a fire pit I don't want my clothes smelling gross or I'm going camping or something dirty or you know I don't know these are my beauty leggings um don't really care for them next are my good old lululemon align leggings these are literally so basic no pockets nothing special it has a front seam normal length literally everything these are my road trip and travel leggings too so great love wearing these on the plane love wearing these in the car they're comfortable they do slide down a little bit more. I think the waistband has stretched out over time or you just need to size down, but yeah. Okay, next up, one of my leggings from literally middle school. I have these Aviva leggings. Aviva is the little girl's brand of Lululemon um, before they closed that line down, but it's just your standard legging. They were known for these colorful waistbands that were targeted towards girls, so I was obsessed with them in middle school and had like the matching athletic jacket to this waistband, so I would wear them together all the time. They're just your standard black legging. They're slightly thinner than my lines and slightly longer, so whenever I want something a little bit lighter and thinner, these are my go-tos. The only thing I don't love about these is they are low-waisted, you know? In middle school, we were obsessed with the low-waisted thing, so that's my only complaint, but these are also great for when I want to travel but want something thinner. Next is also another pair from Aviva. Again, I love them in middle school, and they were just really expensive back then, so we could only afford two pairs, but this is another one, and these are flares. Look at that! They're so cute. This is my ultimate favorite flare leggings. The only thing I hate about them is the waistband because I wear crop tops now. Like I can't have this waistband and it's also low waisted. Okay, also there's a front seam. It's just like the perfect amount of flare. It's not too much and it's not too little and it's just so cute, but I feel like it's just pretty unwearable with most of my clothes now because it's low waisted and you know, you can't really do much to cover this waistband. Okay, lastly is another flare legging from Halara. These are like super duper wide bottom flare leggings. I feel like it's slightly hard to see in the recording but look at that flare that is huge i feel like my legs are really nice and long and toned in these they're so flattering i feel like i get compliments when i wear them too they have a nice hourglass crisscross waistband they do have a front seam which i don't mind that much but i would love it more if it didn't have a front seam and there's no pockets which i don't really care that much either i love these so much i think they're honestly just a little long on me so when i wear them i kind of step on my own legging which sucks and they're certainly just a little just a little too wide for my my taste okay that was a lot i'm aware these are literally all my colored leggings not even the black ones that i have in front of me hope you guys enjoyed watching my legging collection i'm super proud of it Definitely need a red pair and a yellow pair, which I think will be so fun. I'm gonna try to find and link all the names of the leggings in my description box. Definitely a lot, and some of these are so old that they don't even sell anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more random content, because I guess that's what we're doing now. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!